Hey, I'm David Wallach, and welcome to another episode of Cannabis and Tech Talks, brought to you by Cannabis and Tech Magazine and our title sponsor, PolyScience. We're actually at MJ Biz in Las Vegas with Amelia Deshawn, CEO of Action Pack. It's day two. Yes, it is. So Amelia's got her Red Bull, and I've got my coffee. Let's just yeah. do a cheers to MJ Biz before we even get started. Sounds good. Did you have a good night? I did. I did. Yeah, I, I had intended to have less of a good time. Right. But... You know, I got lured into the to the insanity that is MJ BizCon. It's really easy. So yeah, we're gonna easy. we're gonna break the rule and we'll just sip and talk. Okay. Because you know it's it's over there and we don't want to be like, oh my god, I need a sip. Okay. Right? Sounds good. So action pack. We look around MJ Biz as yes. we're walking. There's a lot of Johnny come lately, but action pack's been in business for how long? You've got a, a rich history. A very rich history. We've been around since the late '70s. Packaging at action pack is something that you do with. It's before cannabis, what was it? Oh, okay. so, you know, we really got our start in the specialty coffee industry, and it's still one of our big kind of flagship industries. We go to a coffee trade show every year. So it's like this, but coffee enthusiasts, which is kind of, you know, fun. Sweet. Yeah, very cool. And that was really our start. And we're still huge in that industry, but we have made packaging equipment for the craziest things, things you could not even imagine. Um, bat guano, um, fake fingernails. Um, kimchi, uh, we've done, um, we made a machine for, uh, the Navy to automatically put red sulfur into this like canister. Huh. And so it was, that was a really neat project, a fireworks loader, just all kinds yeah, of but yeah, yeah. the packaging that you've done. It's innovative. It's, it's not innovative. just exactly. Here's a box and this is what you get. Right. So, you know, my, my dad always likes to say, you know, we don't just weigh product. Like what we do here is not wang it's flow control it's product management it's because look we can go on amazon right now and buy an incredibly precise like table scale right but the challenge comes from trying to weigh compliantly and with intolerance like dynamically and with a product that is unique and has very specific flow characteristics um and but that's true with a lot of products like they all work a little bit differently and you have to to get the best results you need to have like the equipment built for specifically it basically and specifically for cannabis right how did you get into the, the cannabis side of the industry because it wasn't the plan initially for no it wasn't yeah. planned so so we got a call from um a distributor kind of a partner somebody that makes labelers and this was years ago in maybe 2014. He had had a customer who was in Colorado. They were like one of the first license holders. And so again, it was like 2014 and there was nothing on the market, right? To weigh, autom to, like, to do automated packaging, scale, net way for cannabis. So knowing that we do custom projects and have worked with all kinds of crazy things and are always willing to take the challenge, um, they approached us and asked us like, Hey, can you build something? And we're like, sure, we can build something. And, um, that machine was like the proto micro 420. It looks very different now than what our current version of that looks like. Cause at the time we couldn't just like work with products. Like we didn't have so much access to the product. We had to kind of guesstimate We had to use like all kinds of strange pretend products to try to, you know, replicate what, how cannabis would work. Cause it was really an unknown, a kind of totally unknown process. Sure. Nobody had tried to automate weighing into a package for cannabis. So it was a lot of like trial and error, a lot of trial and error. And yeah. But that's what makes your company different is, is again, we look around, there's, I can throw my coffee and probably find a packaging oh, yeah. booth. Exactly. But what makes your stand apart? So, yeah, as you mentioned, there are, they're all over the place and they all 
look the same, right? All the equipment is kind of the classic combination scales technology that's been around since like the 50s or 60s. Um, but we develop and innovate specifically for this product. And so all of the mechanics, all of like the math and the algorithms and the programming is all very much specific to not only the product, but the product kind of within the context of a regulatory market. Um, so that kind of sets us apart. And we're always, you know, evolving the products. They're always, we're always adding features, um, getting feedback from our customers and, you know, cause how they are, you know, they all think I'm going to use this equipment in a specific way in my facility, but you know, when it lands in their facility, their plans go out the window and they are actually going to use it in a different way. Right. And so we always want to be, um, like if we're hearing a consistent, this is how we want it to work. This is what it needs to do. Then kind of the next version, we're going to make sure that's available or a part of the design. We interviewed the, uh, president of PolyScience, our title sponsor, All right. yeah. <laughs> uh, yesterday, and he said they innovate based on customer feedback. And exactly. It like Same. Yeah. Because you need, like, this is an investment, right, that the customer is making. It's like a, a capital investment, and it needs to have, like, a measurable buyback and an ROI. And if they can't use it or it's not working then it's a wasted investment and like, then they're going to hate you. So, you know, you want to make sure that they are successful. And for us, that's even, we want to make sure that we're there to support them because, you know, it's one thing to think we're going to have these operators and they're going to run this equipment. It's all going to be great and it's going to be perfect. But in reality, they, you know, there's a break in period and they need to be able to contact us and we need to be able to sit there on the phone with them or do video and remote now so that they can get up and running. And that's, and that's another kind of important aspect of how we like to approach our designs and innovations is they need to be ergonomic and they need to be like quick to implement in the facility. Um, so I think there's a tendency across the industry to like over buy, right? Like sure. over invest in. In cannabis, really? <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and well, it's great, I guess it kind of puts a customer in a weird position of you don't need this and so you're not going to use it and then you're going to resent it and so we try to avoid that too like quite a bit and, and to really make our systems modular so that we're able to add to the lines as they grow as they need more performance so that they're not outgrowing their you know initial investment too soon basically and again you're based in california yep. so when they need customer service because the cannabis industry is not known for its patience. No, 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 it's no, not. They're not. <laughs> no, they're not. Uh, they're, they can reach people right then and there. They're exactly. not calling a call center or something. No, they're not calling a call center. They're, they're calling us and they are talking to the people that like build and innovate and make this product. You know, not only the engineer who drew it up and the programmers that wrote the code, but also like the people who assembled it, like their machine. And often, the guy who went out and installed that system for them. And so we have a lot of like, you know, back and forth, like having rapport, open rapport with a customer is very important. Um, but, you know, we, it, one of our challenges is that we work and manufacture this product in the most expensive state in, in, in the country. <laughs> right. Good old probably California. in the world. Yeah. And um, so that, it, so there's that, but, being able to provide that level of tech support is, you know, costly, but we feel it's an important sort of investment and part of our differentiator really is that we are accessible. Now, I mean, I, some of our customers might hear this and be like, that's not true. I called well, you one yeah. time. I called you that one time and you didn't answer it right away. It was Thanksgiving evening. I couldn't hear you. Right, exactly. So, you know, it's like when you read a Google review and it's some weird like, I tried that, calling it, them on a Sunday night right. and they weren't answering at midnight. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. can't make so everyone happy. You cannot happy, make but. everybody happy. But, you know, we try as much as possible. And sure. for us, you know, we're always trying to, you know, and this is going to sound like maybe stupid, but we always like try to be, I don't know if ethical is the right word, but we always, we don't want to be effing people. Like, do you know what I mean? Like when we yeah. go home at night, we want to know that we did what we could. 
Well, you don't last for almost 50 years without having a solid foundation of right, exactly. business practices. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So that's always been really important to us. And, you know, our team has been around, like the team we have here right now, everybody who's on the floor working. Well, that's not true because I have a, new, a couple new sales reps. But the other guys, like our techs and our engineer that are out there, they've all been with us for seven years or more. We have a couple guys that have been with us for 20 plus years. So we like understand this product. I, I would say probably better than anybody else in terms of automating it for packaging because we like work with it so much. And speaking yeah. of all, you've got a new product, the Mini 420. Yeah, the right? Mini 420. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's very exciting. So what's really cool about the Mini 420 is, and this kind of goes back to talking about walking around, seeing all these packaging equipment, it's these big, massive systems, right? Yeah. So historically, the barrier to entry to get automation for your packaging in cannabis is massively high. And it's a huge machine. And there has never been a real entry-level system for running whole flour into, say, jars or pouches. There are always these big, enormous combination scales, 20 heads, you know, all the rest of it. But the Mini 420 is a small entry level, like linear base scale that they can actually run, you know, retail jars of small buds in. So they don't have to go, you know, throw a quarter of a million dollars down on a, you know, starting packaging system right. to, to make jars or pouches of buds. Now they can do it for under a hundred thousand dollars. And if people want to learn more, what's the website? How do they find you? So they should come, they can come see us in our booth. Or then go to www.actionpackusa.com. Nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's a really cool system. And it's really the end result of almost a decade of working in this industry. And um, so it's really now an entry level packaging system for a whole flower. And it's exciting. It's American made innovation. And yeah, it's American made. Yeah. yeah. Right here in, well, in the state next door. State next door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, Thank you for being on here. Yeah, well, thank, thank you for having guest. me and and pay, you know forbearing with my, you know, you're killing it. My uh, absolutely killing it. Okay, well, thank you. I have to finish this now because I'm getting the okay. So, thank you for watching another episode of Cannabis and Tech Today, Cannabis Tech Talks. I'm David Wallach. Make sure to follow us on social, like us here on YouTube or wherever you're listening to or watching this podcast. Amelia, here we're just going to cheers our yes. way out of this thing. Cheers thank to you. Thank you for having me. Cheers, MJ Biz, MJ Biz. Cheers to everyone else. Thank you for watching. You deserve a choice in your growing media. With VitaWool, you finally have one. VitaWool plugs, blocks, and slabs are made from 70% recycled content here in North America and give you the precision and control you always get from your growing media with the customer service you've never gotten. See why more growers are switching to VitaWool, get a spec sheet, and join the movement at vidawool.com. Hey, hello, I'm Tommy Chong. If you want something really nice in your laboratory, buy Durachill. I'm telling you, if you're not using this Durachill, you're not really in the pot business. You're just on the fringe of it. So if you really want to get serious, man, this is what you need. You need a Durachill in your life. You've got the technology here to have the cleanest, purest, healthiest product. I'm impressed. You want me to sell this? Buy it. Try Durachill or else. If your chiller's down, you ain't making money. And you heard it from me, Tommy Chong. Brought to you by PolyScience. This show was produced by Cannabis Tech Today and Pretty Easy Podcasts. Go to prettyeasypodcast.com now if you're looking to get professional production help on your own podcast at an affordable rate. Pretty Easy Podcasts, making podcasting pretty easy.